chapter 3, Mishnah 2. When a Nazir, a person who takes a vow of Naziris, which prohibits him to drink wine, eats eat grape products, cut his hair, or to become Tame from a corpse, completes his term of Naziris, he is required to bring three korbanos, an Ola, a Chatas, and a Shalamim, Siba Mibar chapter 6. In our Mishnah's case, the, a Nazir's consecrated money in order to buy the korbanos at the end of his Naziris. Sorry. In our Mishnah's case, a Nazir consecrated money in order to buy the korbanos at the end of his Naziris. The Mishnah discusses the laws of Meila with regard to that money. If a Nazir designates money for his Naziris offerings, but does not specify which of the coins are to be used for his Ola, which for his Chatas, and which for his Shalamim, one may not derive benefit from the money. But if someone does derive benefit from it, he is not liable for Meila. The reason there is no Meila is because all the money is fit to be brought as a Shalamim. That is, since he did not specify originally which coins are for which Korban, any coin may be used to buy a Shalamim. And since the Shalamim, which is Kodashim Kalim, is not subject to Meila, the money is also not subject to Meila. If a Nazir who designated money for his offerings died, the law depends on the following. If the money he left was unspecified, that is, he did not specify which coins are for which offering, it is dropped in the collection chest in the Beis HaMikdash for voluntary communal offerings. If, however, the money he left when he died was specified, i.e., he specified which coins are for his Ola, which for his Chatas, and which for his Shalamim, the law for each one is as follows. The money designated for the Chatas must be thrown into the Dead Sea. One may not derive benefit from that money, but if someone did derive benefit from it, he is not liable for Meila, since the money is supposed to be destroyed, not to be used to buy a Korban. With the money designated for the Ola, the heirs bring an Ola, and until the Ola is bought, that money is subject to Meila. And with the money designated for the Shalamim, the heirs bring a Shalamim. And it may be eaten for only one day, like the Shalamim of the Nazir. But unlike the Nazir Shalamim, it does not require the accompanying bread.